All right, hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. We are, as always, exploring the Shadow Lab. Do I have any Pokemon ready to be purified? I mean, I'm pretty sure I would have done it if I did, but like, how close are we? Fledian is getting really close, probably gonna be ready to be purified today. But yeah, I'm just looking around the Shadow Lab. It's branching like a thousand times, so we still got plenty to do, I'm sure. Oh wait, here's that area I was thinking about yesterday. Because this is the area we unlocked all the new stuff in, right? Here's this side path. Nope, no, never mind. This is just this. Maybe even I maybe I should just cut that from the video. Alright, so we're back here on the ground floor. I'm not this is not the ground floor. Are we unlocked? I've got a bunch of areas down here unlocked. I don't even remember where all we've got uh, finished. As you can tell by me stumbling into like a bunch of dead ends in a row. We've got some teleporters up there. They're not even teleporters, they're just elevators. The next floor here. We did this, right? We've beaten you. Dubik. Okay, didn't want to talk to you twice, do Bick. But... So yeah, that means the only place left to do is these, like, two elevators, right? It's kind of scary that they have two of them just next to each other and you don't know where either goes. Are they both... They can't both go to the same place, right? Because otherwise, why would they have both of them? And they don't. So... I guess we're just gonna be into something here. Uh, I maybe I should consider like how long it takes to purify, how difficult it is to purify Shadow Pokemon in like the post game, because it's getting more and more painful to try to. Psych up is not a good move. To try to have to like haul a bunch of shadow Pokemon with me everywhere. At the very least, I might change it to like be like three shadow, three non shadow. Oh? So I can't leave now? Can I not leave, or...? Alright, I'm gonna get to the front. And... I can just leave and go back to heal, so I, I don't know... If I'm missing something. Yeah, while we're here, let's just, um... Give her a palm just for the sake of it. So yeah, we can leave, but let's just let's see what what's supposed to be happening here, anyways. Um, there's this area, so we can fight Remel. Pretty cool. Oh, and the Vibrava, I'm guessing? Yeah, nice. Okay, we'll actually take out the um, Spellow first, because it'll probably be able to do a lot to Ledian, and we got called out, okay. Never mind. Well, I mean, I guess It'll make more sense to target the Spell of Swap slot now, anyways. Okay, well, Lydian contributing a lot, as always. I think Speakman might actually be good here. 
Because we have Surf and Suicune, don't we? You can see that before, but Suicune's getting quite close to being purifiable. I don't know if Suicune will outspeed the Swallow, but we can... At the very least, like... Try? Worst case, uh, Surf only hits the Swallow. But that's kind of fine, though. And we'll go after the Bravo here. Okay, it does, I mean, only hits the... Okay. Just a little one-on-one -on -one battle here, because nobody else wanted to participate. Honestly, fine. Uh, not as much damage as I, as I would have liked, but... Another Surf should be getting... Get in range. Don't know why the animations are so long after, but... And I'll go and call Sneasel, because we need to purify Sneasel. And now we can see how much Surf does, like, proper. Ooh, kind of scary, but that is a good amount, actually, on the Vibrava. Cadabra, also kind of scary. I mean, I guess Umbreon will be able to take it out quite well. Oh, did it just take itself out? Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, we'll just let it happen, though. That's our modus operandi, like I said, going forward. Now, of course, we're going to use Umbreon, because it's Kadabra. And we may as well use Surf again. Like, I don't know if that is the right play or not, but it's the one I'm going to be making. Wait, here's an interesting question, which I will hopefully get the answer to. Shortly. What happens if you use um, Shadow Rush on that, on that Kecleon? What does it mean look at you again? Does it trap? Yeah, that's not useful, I don't think. <coughs> Especially in a move with only trainer battles. Umbreon, I mean, Suicune will use Shadow Rush here. Hopefully it'll go through. We may as well switch Umbreon to Pile of Spine to get some more purification in. Alright, let's see what happens. Is it going to stay water type, or...? Yeah, the game just kind of doesn't mention that it got hit by a shadow type move, which I mean, fair enough. Alright, well, kind of a shame we didn't catch that Brava, but that's how it goes sometimes. And she's gone. What is behind the door? Another battle. Pretty cool. Alright, and so we finally got Letty in to the point where it's uh, ready to be purified. So we can go ahead and say goodbye to Letty in. It's been kind of a uh, wait, not to be too judgmental, but Letty in's stats are not the best. The Baton Pass is kind of hype in theory, but I don't think in practice we'll be able to take proper advantage of it. Anyone else close? Spikoon is getting quite close, but given how slow legendaries take, it still might be an episode or two before Spikoon is fully ready to be purified, but that's alright. Out of curiosity here, while we're exploring, what's in the second um, place? Like, we would have needed to um, go back anyways to... Um, Purify Lydian, but it's just this DNA sampler. 
Oh, that's a Mytina. Pretty cool. Is is there a point to this? Like, that's that's an Entei, all right. And what else do we got? Oh, this is the one we haven't used. All right, that's certainly a choice. Croconaw, pretty cool. Croconaw. I don't know what that got us, but I'm glad we did it. I guess. All right. So, we should have one more battle to do, or not? Oh, Ente Krokona might be. Oh, so I, I didn't know I needed to, to use a DNA sampler, but I guess that's my reward. Oh, it's Scrub. I, with a name like you, I'm, I remember. I love the big goofy horn you got coming out of your head too, that's pretty good hype. Alright, let's see how Area Dose does actually. I mean, there's enough to take out the clamp roll, it's pretty good. I'm kind of thinking this Graveler, at the very least, Speakman would be better to use against Grav- although... Yeah, we'll switch up with one to send out a uh, Graveler. Or I guess Sneasel will just die. Because, okay, that makes things easy actually. I'm glad he sent a Wob effect. Because now we can employ the strategy of just like not attacking the Wob effect, and now he essentially just has an open slot on his. And that's essentially just a 2v1, right? We don't want to use um, Surf here. Also, is Sweetcomb ready to be purified? I think so, maybe. Maybe is what I think. Yeah, Aridos is gonna die pretty quick here, but we can't exactly switch it out thanks to the Wob effect. I'll call the Aridos just so we get some progress on it before it dies, and then otherwise, yeah, this is just what we're doing here. So I love how it freaks out in this animation. Alright, well I mean it's a bit of a bit slow of a battle, but ultimately it's pretty straightforward. It's not ideal that all my shadow Pokemon just fold immediately, but that's how it is sometimes, I guess. Like so when he's got Lobafet on the field, as long as you don't attack Lobafet, it can't attack you, so then it's essentially just a two-on-one, so that makes things a lot easier. And he also just disintegrates when he loses, that's pretty cool. We're gonna go back and we're gonna purify Suicune, which is definitely hype, I will say. And with that we got Suicune. So that's pretty hype to bring Suicune into a, like a usable Pokemon. And also, I'm pretty sure that means we have one more Pokemon to purify before we can... I mean, ostensibly, we can start using... Um... Espeon and Umbreon as our main Pokemon right away, I think, actually. But yeah, Suicune's hype, so I'm guessing... I mean, logically, we're gonna be coming up on Raikou pretty soon. Which is I'm definitely looking forward to that. I think I don't know why, but I feel like the electric it being electric types gonna make it harder to deal with than any of the other types. Maybe that's just me, cause like you run the risk of like status conditions and that, right? I mean, I guess ostensibly you do with Entei as well, but it's more of a concern. Yeah, we got this. Horrible little grand ball to purify, and then we're done for now. I mean, I'm sure we'll have more Shadow Pokemon in the future, but you know what I mean. And that should also hopefully speed up, like, how we progress through areas and that, because, like, Aspen and Umbreon are to be. They're a lot better at battles than any of our Shadow Pokemon are going to be. And I mean, Pilot Swine and Sneasel are 
also pretty close to being purified too, so... I feel like we're gonna be back on the upswing here, hopefully, with the next video. But for now, as always, thank you for watching.